Okay, so we've created a UML class diagram. And now we want to convert it to a database. So how do we go about doing that? We can basically follow some key steps. First, we're going to map the classes to tables. Uh, the classes will become the database tables. Next, we'll take the attributes and we're going to map those to the fields. The fields in our various tables and then we'll assign primary keys. Next, we'll take our associations and we'll map them to the foreign keys as fields that we can then build our database relationships from. If we have any classes with many-to-many -many relationships, or many-to-many -many multiplicities, What we have to do there is create new tables. And these basically become link tables. Finally, we'll take the class diagram, associations, and set those up as database relationships. So it's a fairly straightforward structured process that we follow. So let's see how it would work. Let's say first, so first classes to tables. Let's say we've got person We've got our auto, we've got dealers, we've got state DMVs, So what we'll do here is we will convert that class diagram into four tables. Person. And that person is going to have a person ID and a name. We will also have an auto. With an auto ID, manufacturer, model, 
and year. Then we're going to have dealers. And we'll have a dealer ID. And the dealer name. Finally, we'll have the states. State ID. State name. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward conversion from classes to tables. So now, let's take a look at number two, which is attributes two fields and primary key. So the attributes were already over here in associated tables and what we've done is we've uh, already added those to the tables that we have over on the right and what we can do is identify now what the primary key is and there are a number of notation possibilities for that sometimes it'll be an asterisk uh, Microsoft Access uses a little tiny key now I'm not very good at drawing a key on this little whiteboard so we're just going to use an asterisk and in this case that first field in every single instance becomes our primary key. We have a person ID, we have an auto ID, we have a dealer ID, and we have a state ID. So that ID is our primary key. Okay, let's take a look at step number three. We're basically going to take our many-to-many, -many, or our one-to-many, associations to foreign keys. Now when you map to, a, when you want to create foreign keys, generally you want to go toward the asterisk in the association to define the foreign key. So in this case here we've got state. So if we were to go from state to auto, well auto is on the asterisk side, so we need to identify a foreign key in auto that allows us to define what state it's licensed in. So we would add another key uh, field here called state li it's licensed in. Same way with person. Person here maps toward auto. So we need a foreign key in auto to tell us who the owner is. So owner person ID. As we go toward the many in these one-to-many relationships, we are identifying on the many side which foreign key we're relating back to. State license, foreign key relating back to the state ID, owner, person ID, relating back to person ID. So that's number three. Now number four many to many associations become new tables alright so in this case we have a relationship where there's a many on both ends of the relationship dealer to auto has a many and a many. So now we have to create a whole new table. And this table 
is basically going to be a link table and we'll call it something creative like dealer auto in that link table we're going to have two fields dealer ID and auto ID so we can take our auto to many different dealers to get it worked on a dealer obviously is going to work on many different autos now since this is a link table linking these two both of these combined become the primary key dealer ID and auto ID so we've created a new table for our many-to-many -many relationship and so what we will now do is create database tables and link them up with the appropriate relationships Alright, so we've got now all of these set up as tables and we're going to link them and in Access the way we would link them is through the Relationships tool and Access is going to provide its own notation. So here for the person in the auto we're going to link from the person ID to the person ID here and that's going to be a 1 and Access indicates it's many with a little infinity sign. So one to many. We're also going to have a relationship between the auto, so the state ID, and the state ID for the state. And again, anytime you're linking to a primary key, generally the primary key is going to be the one, and then the foreign key will be the infinity, or many. Another link we'll have is between the auto and the dealer, but we have to go through that auto dealer table, the link table, and sometimes you'll uh, describe these as um, the linking activity, so it could be serviced by and here we'll have a link between the dealer ID and dealer ID and the auto ID and auto ID and you'll see we're breaking the rules there by crossing lines but it would be possible to move these tables around and uncross lines anytime we've got a linking table with a multiple or with a compound key here auto ID and dealer ID well we're gonna have a one-to-many between the basic table and the link table. So the link table will be the infinity. So there we've got a structure that we can use to start building our access database.